and we've got a process so comment as well. You're actually pushing information back to them as well about like ways that they can work better. Yeah, absolutely. I'm talking to those guys as part of my job every day. Anyone else? I'm curious about the audience side of things and how you figured out A, which audience you want to target, and B, if those targeted audiences aren't on those platforms, how you might engage with them. So in terms of deciding who the target audience was, um, we have a very specific mandate from government um, as to who they, do, they believe our stakeholders are. So that's obviously the first list because we have to satisfy our masters. <coughs> We also have a group of people that we want to know what we're doing, and that's the academic sector and the guys further down the tree in places like the UN and the ICRC. Um, while those organisations may not be active online, or well, I wouldn't be active, um, on an organisational basis, lots of their people are active, and they're who we're targeting in terms of that sort of stuff. Because what we're going to do is get the message out to people and doing stuff, and then have it trickle back. Um, slide share, and I'll use that as an example. Mm -hmm. Why did you decide to use slide share to present content? And my concerns are this. One is, um, like many social media sites, it requires a user to sign up and submit themselves to the terms and conditions of that site. And terms and conditions, as we know, are an ever-shifting concern. Uh, secondly, s slide share, putting content on slide share means you're sending users away from your site and potentially presenting content out of context. I don't know in your case whether that's the case. All our materials, if you, if you were to have a, have a look at what we do, all our stuff is actually all hosted on our own site as well, um, particularly the words around the materials that we present. Um, but in terms of slide share being somewhere we can, we can put stuff that um, has the infrastructure to host our Host our materials easily for us. Um, that's that's what that choice was. And, and in terms of risk, in terms of, of the things like moving terms and conditions, um, we decided that that was such a low risk in terms of getting what is unclassified material from presentations out on the web that it was a relatively easy task. Third thing is using external sites like that. How do you satisfy the? Um the accessibility requirements, because part of the entire package of Government 2.0 is to provide accessibility and meet those standards, mm -hmm. and social media sites don't routinely offer that. It's a responsibility that an agency has to... Yeah. So if, if we talk about things like um, one of the, the things most published that we have on, on Slash at the moment are uh, what we call our working papers and casual papers, and this is the last question for John So I'm happy to ask questions later. Um, in terms of accessibility requirements, everything that we publish in terms of academic papers are published as a PDF um, that is marked up in an accessible way as HTML or XHTML. Um, that's obviously readable by browser, as well as and then the PDFs are supplied to to all put up to SlideShare, so that someone who can, who wants to read them in that context can read them in that context. So it's not a it's not a either or, it's an all of. Thanks very much. Thank <laughs> you.